day 672 being Christopher Cruz. Um, I was just thinking about the call that I had. Um, and she said, you know, it's exciting for her to see all the things that I'm going through and everything I'm experiencing with God. And she's like, it makes her think back to when she was seven months in and that like aliveness she had and that, that passion for God and, and how it's like reigniting that in her. And it just makes me think like, maybe like, I feel really grateful that I didn't grow up with church or the Bible or, or any of that stuff because I have this like passionate zest for it like this zeal this intensity this excitement about it because it's like i've i've done personal development i've done new age spirituality i've done so many different things i looked into buddhism like all this stuff and this is it and that's where my passion and my intensity and my fire for it comes from it's because i know this is it and so but i've talked to a lot of believers where they've kind of lost their their passion and it just makes me think like I want to make sure that I never ever lose my passion for God I want to make sure that I never allow that to get tainted in any way and I need to do everything that I can in my power to to stay this way and I look at like John Bevere and I saw him speak at our church before I knew who he was and when I saw him I'm like that's what I want like that guy has such a passion and a fire for God that it is crazy his excitement is like childlike you know like a kid excited for Santa Claus like that's how John Bevere is with God and his excitement for reading the Bible and and uh, getting to know God more and more and it's like that's the kind of passion that I want to have the rest of my life with God to pursue God with that kind of passion that kind of love and that kind of intensity like that is what I want and that's when I want to continue. I feel like I have that now, but not not the way he does. Like that's next level, but I want that and I want to have that forever. And so, um, yeah, it's so good for me to see that. And I just feel grateful coming into this with a different perspective because I didn't grow up with it. Um, I'm not used to it. It's not normal to me. It's like, it was a choice. And I think a lot of people, you know, they're, they're kind of forced into it when they're children, you know, because their parents believe or whatever it is. And I feel like I appreciate it on a different level because uh, I'm pursuing it. Like it's an option. You know, I was never forced to go to church or didn't grow up in, in a family that had a lot of faith or anything like that. And so it was like, yeah, it's like a choice for me. So, and I appreciate that and I respect that choice, but I never want that fire to go out. I just want it to go from you know, a flame to a bonfire to a forest fire that takes over the world. So that's what I'm committed to.